video we will be covering all you need to know to write subject lines and descriptions that will bring greater visibility to your thread on the forums and will help you get a resolution for your issues much faster. For starters, I'll highlight some key points to keep in mind when creating your thread and then we will go into a practical example. We'll start with a subject line. Your space to write is limited, so keep it short and use relevant terms and keywords. Avoid generic descriptions such as can't used, can't open, or problem with. A great number of threads in the forums use these terms. Keep away from them and your thread won't be just one more in the crowd. Use error codes if you received one. Mention any specific features or commands you are using. Use succinct verb noun descriptions such as launching feature X or executing command Y. And finally, use the same keywords you would use when trying to find the answer to your question. This will help you stick to the most relevant parts of your problem. Now talking about the description. Try to always answer all of these three questions when you are describing your issue. What are you trying to achieve? What is your end goal? What did you do? What actions did you take? And what did not work? Here are some useful tips from our forum experts. Use macros and your signature to your advantage. These can be great time savers. You can set your signature by clicking on preferences at the top right corner of the screen and then on the personal profile tab. Your macros can be found on that same page, clicking on the Macros tab. Use the signature to say something that is relevant for all your posts, for example your system specifications. Use macros to say something you want to mention often, but not on every post. If you post on multiple product boards, you can use macros to mention what version, service pack or build of a product you are currently using. Lastly, and I cannot stress enough how important this is, always hit the accept a solution button if a specific post has solved your issue. This helps other users to immediately identify threads that contain a working solution for a problem. Let's go into our practice exercise. This is our fictional issue. We are trying to plot a design on AutoCAD 2013. We clicked on button X, received an error 12345, and AutoCAD stopped working. This is an example of a generic thread you would see on the forums for this issue. The subject line reads AutoCAD 2013 problem. The word problem doesn't tell us anything about the problem itself. Most users won't even go through the trouble of opening this thread. The description reads, I clicked on button X and AutoCAD crashed. Please help. That's not a lot of information to help our experts troubleshoot. Now let's use what we've learned to write a more compelling thread for the same issue. Our subject line reads error 12345 when trying to plot. This gives our users a very good idea of what the issue is before even clicking on the thread. The description is, I'm trying to plot my design. This is what we're trying to achieve. It's important to mention this as if there are ways to achieve this goal other than clicking button X, which was our course of action, or if there are workarounds, our users will be able to inform you. Then we mentioned that this is a printer that has worked before, so it gives us more context. Then we say we clicked on button X, which is our action, and we got an error 12345. That's what went wrong. And then we list the system specifications. This will provide our experts more information and reduce the chances of back and forth posts and also decrease the time of resolution. Mm -hmm.